string players, I hope your day is going well. Have you ever found yourself really short on time when it comes to scheduling practice into your day? Or have you ever been stuck in traffic on your way to a rehearsal and then you arrive, you only have a few minutes to warm up before the rehearsal begins? Or perhaps, do you have to sometimes limit how much physical practice you do in order to prevent an injury or to recover from one? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you might want to stick around and watch this video because I'm about to go over my five top quick warm-up exercises for the left hand that are very effective and efficient. Now be sure to stick around till the end because I'm also going to add a new exercise that has recently entered my arsenal of warm-ups. And this exercise has been a real game changer for me when it comes to playing thirds. And I learned it from Nathan Cole, so be sure to stick around for, for that. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Ina Langerman and I post lesson videos every week. Most of them are on violin technique, but sometimes I cover topics that are great for all instrumentalists. And on occasion, I also throw in a homemade recording project of some kind. Now, if you'd rather prefer to see a bite-sized version of these lessons that are 30 to 60 seconds long, or if you'd like to listen to me practicing instead, then head over to Instagram and follow me at Violina. It's the same spelling as the name of this channel. All right, here we go. Quick warm-up exercises for the left hand. And by the way, these are not ranked in any particular order. So just so you know. So the first exercise is from Simon Fisher's book called Warming Up. And it's his finger tapping exercise. By the way, I went over this exercise in my previous video that I posted last week. So if you would like to see how to do this exercise, just click the link right up here or in the description below. I'm not going to go over it again this week because then it'll be redundant. So if you need to go over how to do this exercise, just go watch that video first. So I'm just demonstrating a little bit of that exercise. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing to save time. And let's go to number two, the next one. Also from Simon Fisher's book, Warming Up. It's his trill exercises. doing a finger tap with every finger with every finger combination so after, after you've done a finger tap with every finger combination then you do two taps and so on and then three taps and then four taps um, you can go to Simon Fisher's book for reference um, so I'm not going to do the entire exercise here Number three is Shradik's first exercise from his first book. Now this exercise is very versatile. In addition to it being a widely used warm-up exercise for having a good strong hand frame and having good finger action coming from the base of the knuckles, this exercise is also a great teacher because it helps you get really get to know your hand and what's ideal for your unique hand. For example, where along the base of the first finger should make contact with, with the instrument. Some, for some people it's like this, for others it's like this, depending on your hand size. Also, the, the thumb position, for some people the thumb should be back here, for others it should be like this. It really depends. Also the elbow. So it really... Uh, gets you to be mindful of these things. And in another video, I'm going to talk about how you can use this exercise for your bow, but that's for another video. So I'll just play a few lines. It's 
etc. So, you know, you don't have to play the entire two pages. I like to do both pages, um, but it's good to have just a few lines, like five or six lines memorized, just to get that warm up going. Also, I put the trill exercise before the shradic, I, and I did it on purpose because those trill li finger lifts are really, really helpful in shradic, be especially because it covers all the finger combinations before you do all these different ones in shradic. So now exercise number four, it's slow vibrato with an octave shift going up chromatically on the G string. So this exercise gets two things done at once. It's going to get the first joint flexible on your fingers. And at the same time, you're going to become reacquainted with your fingerboard for that day. So very slow vibrato and shift up and up and up to Then we do the same with B flat. Then B natural, up the chromatic scale. so you can go all the way up to G. Um, so this one's great, it gets uh, vibrato on all your fingers and you can practice the octave shift with all your fingers. So you're getting two things done at the same time in a short amount of time. Finally, exercise number five. Out of all the double stops that you can practice in your scale routine, the most important one I think is the octave because it really sets your hand frame. So the last exercise is octaves. You can either practice this in regular octaves. Or you can practice setting the octave. So to set the octave, I play the first note, first finger. Then on the next string, I do two, three, four, two, set my fingers. Then up the chromatic scale, so. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, it depends on your level and also what your goals are. Now, if you're still new to octaves or if you would like more um, preliminary exercises before you get into uh, playing octaves, I actually made a video on that and you can watch it by clicking the link up here or in the description below so you can do some of those exercises instead. Okay, so I said in the beginning of this video that I have a new warm-up exercise that I do more regularly now. So here it is. This exercise has drastically changed my playing technique, when, especially when it comes to playing thirds. It made playing thirds a lot easier. And I learned this exercise from Nathan Cole. This is Nathan Cole's double trouble trill drill. Now, I'm not gonna teach you how to do this exercise. You can go to Nathan Cole's YouTube page. He has three videos on trill exercises. And if you go to the third one in that, those series, by the way, you, it's good to watch them from beginning to end from part one. But if you go to part three of his trill exercises, he talks about how to do this trill, double trouble trill exercise. Um, so I'm just going to give it a go and see how I do. Let's see, I think I'll do it on G and D strings today in third position. What if I do E flat, F, G and A flat. So I'm in E flat major. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see how I do. Ah, start over. I love this exercise. It's really gets me mindful of how my left hand is sitting on the strings. And it really gets the fingers independent from one another. It's a great one. You should go check it out and give it a go and, and be patient with it. Okay, so there you have it. These are my favorite left hand warm ups. What, what about you? What are some of your favorite time saving warm up exercises um, for either hand? on your instrument or on the violin if you're also a violinist like me. What are some exercises that you find extremely efficient? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with a friend or a colleague. And if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss my weekly videos. And uh, by the way, if you are more of a beginner or intermediate player watching this and you would like exercises a little more suitable for your level, um, check out this video over here that I made a while back. Um, They're left hand exercises for beginners and they're also great for those of you who are really getting back into basics as well. Um, so go check it out, uh, see what you think about it. and. As always, happy practicing and I will see you next week.